and welcome back. Now today's episode we are going to be changing the power steering pump on this 04 Grand Am. Now like before we're going to remove tension from the belt tensioner so we can get the belt off and out of our way and what we're going to use is a 3 8 ratchet. Now I got a normal length handle one. Some people you may need to use an extended handle to get enough leverage to release the tension so you can get the belt off. Now I will show you where the square peg in that tensioner is so you can easily find it and locate it and get to work on it. But that's going to be our first step for removing the belt. Now if you see the square peg is right there at the end of the tensioner by my finger which is right before, below this idler pulley under the alternator. And that's where you're gonna put a ratchet to release the tension. All right, now what I did was I was gonna use a 16 to release our, our pressure line, but our 16 millimeter was trying to strip out this nut, so I had to go to a 5 8 which actually worked. Now another thing you'll notice is I took the cruise control box out of the way and what I'm going to attempt to do is try to remove this without taking the motor mounts off the vehicle because I really don't want to go through that. And we're going to see how that goes. So all I got left to move is the three bolts within behind this pulley and this is already loosened so once I get it to where I can pull it out I can take the return line and the power or the pressure line off and pull that up hopefully it'll go that way if not we'll have to pull the motor mounts now luckily I was able to get to this bolt just by removing one bolt off the mount and using a swivel with my 13 millimeter to actually loosen this bolt now the other two bolts are pretty easy to get to and you can see removing loosening that one and loosening the other ones gives me a little bit more play now so I can get this bolt out all right now usually there's a plastic guard here and uh, it's been missing since we've owned the car so it's not there otherwise you'll have to remove this and remove the plastic guard we've already got that loose now we're going to loosen the return line and if you have a way to drain the fluid out now by going through the cap and suctioning it out some way that'll help you save you a mess if not be careful because you're about to get power steering fluid everywhere so now we got the three bolts out we got that loosened so now we're going to take the lines completely off pull the pump up all right now we're going to use our pulley puller to remove the pulley from our old power steering pump so we can use it on our new one all right, now we're gonna get our line started and then we'll bolt it back into place now we already installed our pulley now this is a plastic pulley so please be careful when removing it but what we're gonna do in the future is upgrade it to the steel version I'm not a fan of the plastics they can crack very easily now we're gonna get this started right here where it's easy now we're going to try to get our bolts started and lined up The way I'm going to do this is start with these two first and then the third one should be lined up where we can easily get it right where we need it and then we can tighten everything down. We're going to tighten everything down and then the last thing we're going to tighten down is this that way since it is a little bit movable, it will be exactly where we want it when we tighten it down. 
after tightening up the three bolts for the pulley or for the pump that's go through the pulley then we tighten up the pressure side hose on the power steering pump and then we make sure that the clamp is on the return line that's going to the reservoir on the power steering pump then after you got all that good and secure then you can go ahead and put your belt back on and you're good to go now what I like to do sometimes is to go ahead and remove the cap before I put the belt on and after everything's tightened down and go ahead and put some power steering fluid in there and then free, free spin the pulley by hand and get a little bit of fluid in there before the belt kicks up the RPMs on it and it kind of dry runs a little bit. But then after you do that, put the belt on it, you're good to go. Just make sure you got everything aligned on the belt and everything where it should be. Everything's tightened down and good to go. Check for leaks. When you first start it up, make sure it's not leaking. Now, it's probably best to drive it a little bit and kind of turn the wheel and let the fluid kind of move a little bit and then check it again and make sure you're flu full on fluid. But just make sure you're fu fu full on fluid. Just make sure you're full on fluid before you really do any harsh driving or go very far with it and you're good to go. Now hopefully this proved helpful to you and as always thanks for watching.